I'm Phil Harden, retired executive director of technology for the Rowan Salisbury School System in North Carolina. Over the last year, educational institutions across the nation have been the frequent victim of cyber attacks. Historically, cyber attacks launched against the school district have focused on obtaining data, such as personnel data, financial data, or student information data. Today, we are seeing cyber attacks that are significantly different. The sole purpose of many of these cyber attacks is simply to disrupt a school district's ability to use its technology resources. In some cases, the attacks are launched on a single server, such as a web server. But in other cases, the attack is on the internet as a whole. The goal is to disrupt the school district's ability to use online resources. Such was the case in Rowan Salisbury School System about a year ago. It's very important for educational institutions to be prepared for a cyber attack. In preparing for such an attack, it's important for a school district to have a security plan. That plan needs to be sure that it addresses how the district will respond during a cyber attack. From personal experience, I can tell you that during the attack, there's very little extra time to think about the planning of the response. One has to have the plan for how a district is going to respond already in place so that it can simply be followed during that crisis time period. It's important for school districts to have adequate security and privacy policies in place. One of the most important things that a school system should be doing is the routine and frequent monitoring of the network and the technology devices that are in that school system. The purpose for this is it allows the school district to focus on changes that are occurring or abnormal occurrences that are going on within the network. If a school district is doing routine and frequent monitoring of both the devices in the network, they quickly know when something changes and they're able to respond appropriately to those changes. School districts today have to have up-to-date security policies. They have to have tools that enable them to know exactly what is going on in terms of their network, how their network resources are being used, and by whom. It's important for routine network audits to be done, both by internal and external entities. Key staff members have to understand what they are expected to do during a cyber attack. One of the things that is often overlooked is how will the school district respond in terms of communication during that cyber attack. So your security plan and your protocols have to lay out how individuals within the school district will communicate about the cyber attack both internally and externally. If a cyber attack does occur, a school district needs to reach out to its local law enforcement agency for assistance. Another thing the school district needs to have is a good working relationship to its internet provider. Educational institutions need to understand what services and resources their internet provider have and what they can do to assist them. The important thing to remember, of course, is that the likelihood of an educational institution being attacked is very great. And how well you're able to handle it will all depend on how prepared you are as a school district.